Hi, today I will be talking about Tacit's Luke style plugin. Tacit comes pre packaged with two word count plugins. Word count techniques allow you to take a data set or collection of data sets and parse them into categories based on the words within them. This means that based on a user inputted dictionary, which is essentially a document that lists categories and specific words that fall under each category, the program will count how many words from each category occur in the data, and then will report what percentage of the words in the data fall in each category. For example, if we had the sentences, I love to do yoga, and it makes me sad when we fight, then we would look at the dictionary category emotion and see that it included the words hate, love, sad, and happy. Then, if we were to refer to the standard word count technique, we would say that out of those 12 words, two fall in the category emotion. Therefore, the program would report 16.7%. If we were to use a weighted word count, we would maybe say that love is more indicative of our category emotion, and we would count it as two points rather than one. Therefore, we would say that it was a score of 3 out of 12 words, and the program would report 25%. For help with dictionary creation, you can see the dictionary creating help file or tutorial. We built the Luke style word count plugin tool in Tacit to provide results that match to what you would get with the Luke program. Luke stands for Linguistic Inquiry and Word Count and it is a commonly used dictionary-based technique in text analysis. The difference between Tacit's Luke plugin and the Tacit word count plugin is that the Tacit word count plugin uses Apache Open NLP to parse sentences and stem words, unlike Luke, which relies on static indicators of grammatical structures. For example, it would use a period as an indicator of the end of a sentence. The Tacit word count plugin uses more intelligent algorithms to detect various sentence level syntactic information. Importantly, while Luke string matching is used as a means of stemming, for example, swim would be matched to swimming, swim, and swimmer, the Tacit word count technique can accurately calculate the stem of each word using open NLP. For example, swam would also get mapped to swim. In this tutorial, I will take you step by step through how to use the Luke plugin and understand the results. For more information about the Luke style word count plugin, please watch. Once you have Tacit open, click on Word Count located on the top bar, then select Luke style word count at the bottom of the drop down menu. You should now see the Luke style word count page. Note that you can click the question mark at any time to open up the help file. This includes detailed information written by a social scientist about the steps for running each plugin. The first thing you must decide is whether you want a standard word count or a weighted word count technique. The standard word count technique treats all your words in your dictionary equally. This technique simply adds a one to a category score each time a word in its list is present. For example, if you have a dictionary called harm and under this category you include the word safe, then if the word safe is found in the data set you are analyzing, it will receive a score of one. This is the approach that is used by Luke. The weighted word count technique is ideal when assessing stylistic variables that capture various degrees of a concept. For example, you may assign two to the word safe if it is more indicative of the category you are working with. This way, each time the word occurs, it counts for two points rather than one. Now below you on the left hand side, you will see a section for input details. Before you input data files, you should check that they are either in .text, .pdf, or .rtf file format, 
or compile as a part of a tacit corpus. You can do this by exporting your files from your desktop into a plain text format, or by creating a corpus through a tacit crawler, or by uploading your data into tacit through corpus management. Next, you must select a folder, corpus, corpus class, or file that you want to input. Once you import these, they will automatically be selected for analysis, and the number of files being analyzed will be shown at the bottom of the input panel. If you need further assistance, please refer to the tutorial on inputting data. Once you've added the data you want to analyze, on the right side of the Luke style word count page, you will see the dictionary section. You need to add a dictionary file containing the categories you want to capture in this section. The dictionary file should be in plain text format and in Luke format. The standard word count requires that the dictionary be a Luke compatible dictionary and specify the words for each category while the weighted word count requires that you also provide the weights assigned to each word of interest. For a sample Luke compatible dictionary, please see the Moral Foundations Dictionary under the Resources page of Tacit's webpage. There you can also find a sample weighted dictionary. If you need help creating your own dictionary or want to check that the dictionary you have is compatible, please refer to the dictionary help page or tutorial. You can add multiple dictionaries at the same time. However, the names of categories shouldn't overlap. There does not need to be an equal amount of categories in both dictionaries. You can have a category for nouns, pronouns, and verbs in one dictionary, and a category for nouns and pronouns in the other. Again, if you need further help with dictionaries, please refer to the dictionary help page. Once you've got your dictionary and data selected, you will need to specify where you want the output results to save in the Output Location section. Click on the Browse button and select a folder you would like to store your files in. Once you've selected the place you would like to store your files, press Open. Note that if you create a new folder and rename it, you will need to click on a different folder then back onto your new folder in order to update the folder name in the file list. Finally, we have a couple other optional output files you can select. If you select the checkbox to create a .dat file, this will generate an output data file in .dat format. This is useful if you plan to use other analysis tools on the data that require this specific format, such as SPSS. If you select the Create Category-Wise Word Distribution Files checkbox, then in addition of reporting the percent that each category is used within the files, the plugin will report the percent that each individual dictionary word is used within the files. Once you have finished making your selections, press the green Run button with the small white arrow on the top right corner. Tacit will then run your analysis, which you can track on the console on the bottom section. Once the analysis is complete, you can then go and find the files created by this plugin in the place you previously chose for the output location. The output will be typical loop output. If your dictionary is not in the plain text format, you will receive an error in the console the window directly below the plugin. This error will state, Luke style word count analysis met with error. Take appropriate action to resolve the issue and try again. You can fix this error by exporting your dictionary into plain text format and then rerunning the analysis. I will now show you an example of this error.
And here we see the error message. If you forget to add either the input details or dictionary, a red error message will appear at the top of the window next to the title of the plugin, reminding you to add these files. I will now give you an example of this error. Select slash add at least one dictionary file. If you do not select an output location, you will also receive a red error message at the top of the window next to the title of the plugin, stating that the output location cannot be empty. If you continue running into errors, you can refer to our forum where people can submit questions and answer questions. If your question is not on there, you can submit a question or you can contact us directly. Now I will talk about how to understand the output of this plugin. One of the files produced will be a .csv file. This will give you information about the file name, WC, which is the total number of words, WPS, which is the number of words per sentence, 6LTR, which is the number of words that have more than six letters, and DIC, which is the percent of dictionary words used. You will then see a list of categories from your dictionary and the percentage of the files that were captured by each category. The other file will be in plain text format. This will include the name of the plugin you used, the name and version of the application used, and a timestamp. In the category-wise word distribution output, you will see a list of words for each text file you are analyzing, and the amount that each word listed contributed to the overall percent that the category was used. This gives us more details and specifics than the original .csv file. Thanks for listening and contact us if you have any other questions.